Hello crafters! This is Wicked Brew and I'm coming to you from the Titancraft patron server, part of Tango Tech's Patreon. If you're interested in joining a vanilla server and supporting Tango, check the link in the description for more information. Everything you will see here has been spontaneously and organically built, so it won't be perfection to be sure, but stick around and enjoy. Today, I wanted to present the fog effect. This is a way of building colorful depth into your world using deep digs and colored glass blocks. However, we did this a little differently than you may have seen others do it. In fact, there are three distinct fog effects to present. The first is the traditional vertical fog effect. This effect is normally at least seven layers of glass with an air gap between each layer. Vertical fog is the type you can find a number of different tutorials on how to build. Ours though is a little different. First, the scale. This hole is approximately 100 blocks in diameter and continues down to bedrock. Again, this was done without world edit and even beacons from the majority of the build while on a private vanilla server in hard survival mode. The sides of the hole are covered in blackstone bricks and the bottom in black concrete. The center pillar, which is supporting an end portal, is regular end stone, as well as a multitude of chorus fruit plants. These plants are the actual star of the show, as they are embedded into the fog. Next, if you're considering using chorus fruit plants in this way, here are a few tips. 1. Choose your placement before building the glass layers. This should be obvious as the plants need the space to grow. 2. The more ambitious the height of the plant you want to use, the bigger opportunity for error. This is because you cannot place glass immediately above or below the branches of the plant. One misplaced glass block on a low branch will bring the whole plant down, and you will have to mine all the glass out to make room to regrow. Finally, make sure that if you are building the fog effect to surround a structure, you also properly account for connected blocks so you don't ruin the fog effect in a random spot here and there. Once the layers are all on, maintenance of those connected spots is a massive pain to correct. As you can see, this effect looks incredible at night. So don't let your sleeping habits in game get in the way of enjoying all the work you've done. The next type of fog effect is the horizontal fog. Even though this is the second one in the list, it's actually the first one we built. The process is still very much the same as the vertical fog, as it still consists of the same seven or more layers of colored glass with air gaps between. But this can lead to some really interesting diorama type displays, such as this one, showing an organic nether portal through which magma blocks are exploding forward and redstone golems are entering the overworld. Here are the techniques used to create an inset diorama type vertical fog. First, we found a suitable mountain which we dug out to create the space needed. You will need to clear out a space of at least 17 blocks into the mountain. The height is up to you. Now, as we move into the diorama, Notice that the air gaps remain on each level of the glass from floor to ceiling. The floating blocks are not embedded into the glass layers themselves, but into the air gap between the layers. This eliminates the block borders that would be created by embedding the other blocks into the glass layers. The third type of effect is something I call the pass-through fog. This is the same fog effect as the original vertical effect, but with the bottom left open. This is a particularly cool effect to use at the surface level, so you can make the fog spill out to create the illusion of smoke bubbling up from the depths. This effect is less about what you see than what another player sees as you fall into the seeming abyss below. 
With enough fog, you will almost drop out of existence as viewed by the other players. As I said, this is a replica of what you saw in the vertical fog before. However, this is a two-way fog effect, as you can see it both above and below. Well, that's going to be it for me for this one. I hope you can use some of these techniques in your own builds. If you liked what you saw, please leave a comment, creep that like button, and drop a subscribe. Those are free, you know. And again, if you're interested in more information about Tango Tech's patron server Titancraft, click the link in the description. And remember, if you didn't build it in survival, you didn't really build it. <laughs>